What's up guys? My name's Jonathan. This is my Canon, and thank you for tuning in to another episode of The Canoneer. Now today we've got a special two-part episode where we're going to be doing a viewer requested video using our 3D printed tank rounds. You guys really seem to like that video. If you haven't seen it already, I'll link it at the end of the video. It's also throw it in the description below. Where one of you guys suggested that we put some rocket motors in there and see if the cannon will set it off. So that's what we're going to be trying today. How far will they shoot? Will they shoot at all? I'm excited to try. And then we're going to be shooting some distance while we're over at the range, just because we can. So that'll be fun to see how far we can shoot accurately with our cannon. So before we get over to the ranch, I'd like to give a quick shout out to Varden's Body Shop in Fairview, Tennessee for helping us out with our targets today. Now, if you guys haven't done so already while we're traveling over to the ranch, go ahead and drop down below, hit that subscribe button. I'm sure you guys are going to want to keep up with all the fun stuff that we've got coming out in the future that we're going to be shooting with our cannon and out of our cannon. And for those of you guys that have done so already, thank you so much. I greatly appreciate it. Now, I'll meet you guys over at the range. I'll show you guys how our rocket shells are set up and we'll start shooting them. Okay guys, so for our video today, one of y'all suggested adding a rocket motor to our 3D printed 37mm tank rounds here. So that's exactly what we're doing. I've got our C6-7 rockets here. They're the exact same size as that hole in our tank round here. Perfect size actually, I just pressed it down in there. So we're going to load this up in our cannon and see if the cannon itself, the powder ignition, will light that rocket motor. If it does, how far it'll fly, how fast it'll go, and what will happen. If it doesn't work, we're going to stick a cannon fuse in that little hole there, give it a better chance. So we're going to test these out today and see how they work. Okay guys, we've got our first rocket shell loaded in. Let's see what happens. Okay, so that totally worked. <laughs> and it threw that rocket way up in the air. It looks like it took out one of our cameras. Oh gosh, whoa, it broke my tripod. Woo! Yeah, it hit the tripod there. Hopefully our camera's still alive. Yeah, camera's still running there. Let me turn that off. But it took out our tripod. Woo! <laughs> it went right through that. So we're gonna have to move this back. <laughs> and give these guys a better chance at working. But that... <laughs> let's load up another one of those and see what happens. Hey guys, we got a new rocket shell loaded up. We got it out at 50 yards. Let's see what happens. Okay, that thing shot off into the woods out there. Let's go look. I wonder where they're igniting at. So we might have to take this out a little farther and see what happens. So sure put a big old hole in that car door though. They all fire off into the air up there. So big old giant holes. You can see for sure that they don't care at all about those car hood in the slightest. But it sure sets off the rocket motor, which is pretty cool. So let's load up another one and see what happens at a little farther distance. Okay guys, we got another rocket shell loaded up. We're out at 100 yards this time to try to give it a little more time to set that rocket off. So let's see what happens. Well, the rocket... Okay guys, so we got a brand new rocket shell loaded up. We went ahead and aimed very low this time. I think the rocket's igniting about eh, maybe 5, 10, 15 feet away from our target and shooting a little high. So we went ahead and aimed a little low. Let's see if we can hit it this time.
Well, we hit it for sure, but I don't think our rocket went off. Let's load up another one and see what happens. Okay, guys, we got another rocket shell loaded up. This time, it hopefully will set off our rocket. Got it out 100 yards. Let's see what happens. Okay, guys, so we're out of rocket shells, but now that we've got our target set out at 100 yards, we're going to see if we can take out a watermelon with a lead cannonball at this distance. So let's see what happens. Okay guys, so we reloaded our lead cannonball, we readjusted our aim. Let's see what happens if we can hit it at 100 yards. Okay guys, so since we winged our watermelon at 100 yards, we went ahead and moved it out to 150, readjusted our aim a little bit, we got a new cannonball loaded up, let's see what happens at 150 yards. I think we might have hit that. If we didn't, we got really, really, really close to it. Start that long walk. I think we hit it. At 150 yards, I think we hit that watermelon. Yup, I'm pretty sure we did. Wow. That's some accuracy shooting right there. We did. We hit it square in the center, I believe. I'm excited to watch it blow up on our high speed. Now we did double the load. We had 800 grains in there instead of our regular 400. But I'm pretty sure we hit it. Looks like we did to me. Okay guys, so if you're curious about what we're trying to hit over there, that car hood at 150 yards looks like that. Let me zoom in for it and you guys can see how tiny it is. So that's how far we're shooting at 150 yards here. That's a pretty good distance, and we nailed that watermelon. <laughs> well guys, I think this might be my favorite video that we filmed so far. Just watching those rockets fly through the air in real life was super cool, and watching them on our slow-mo, which I went ahead and took a peek at, is also super awesome too. If you guys didn't catch it, you can see one of them bounce across the ground there, which is also kind of neat. Watching that shell bounce across the ground and come flying in and hit our target was also super cool. I'm also shocked that at 150 yards, we can hit a watermelon with our cannon. That was kind of unexpected. That was super neat though. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, go ahead and hit that like button. It really helps get this video out in the world of YouTube. If you haven't done so already, hit that subscribe button. I'm sure you guys are going to want to keep up with all the cool stuff that we got coming out in the future with our Canon videos here. And if you guys have any ideas about things that you'd like to see us shoot with the Canon or things that you'd like to see us shoot out of the Canon or just any questions in general about the Canon, drop those in a comment below and I'll hopefully answer those for you guys super soon as well. Now, once again, guys, my name's Jonathan. This is my Canon. Thank you for tuning into another episode of the Canon here and I'll catch y'all on the next one.